fella is sharing here. Is there a relation between Kundalini and the dark night of the soul? Yeah, so last night um, on the uh, After Dark session, we discussed Kundalini and the shadow. Um, and of course, the shadow theme came to me intuitively, but then I recognized that it, of course, coincides with this you know, solar eclipse. Um, so Kundalini shines the light and really bring us to the states of incredible oneness, unity with God, unity with the divine, states of yoga, self-realization, peace, bliss, etc. It's fantastic. Sometimes we think that when we have those experiences, we think we've made it, it's done. I'm fully liberated. I'm going to be in the state of oneness and peace and ecstasy forever. However, for many of us, myself included, we have those experiences and then we come back down into the world, into our separate sense of egoic self, into our personality, into our shadow. And we lose connection with the divine. We lose that feeling of oneness and peace. And we feel abandoned by God. And this can be marked as the dark night of the soul, the dark night of the soul. So it's during the dark night of the soul that we work to heal, to address the shadow, to process, to transform the parts of us that are impeding, that are stopping us from holding the highest state of consciousness sustainably, right? So it's kind of like you fly really high, right? It's incredible, but you get really tired and you land and now you're really tired and you can't fly. And you look and you'd be like, oh, I was wearing a backpack full of bricks the whole time. Why don't I take this backpack of bricks off and then I can begin to fly once again more easily at length, right? So taking off the backpack of bricks is the doing the healing work, is doing the shadow work, the purification work, the purging, right? The spiritual practices, the self-care, bringing attention to this body. So that's what we do during the dark night of the soul. Of course, I'm describing it here um, in a super simple way. When you're in the midst of it, when you've been flying really high and had a connection with the divine, the transcendent experience, and then you come back down to earth, um, you know, it, it can be heartbreaking. It can be devastating. You can feel incredibly confused. You can doubt yourself whether you were even having a valid spiritual experience to begin with. It's very challenging, very challenging. So, um, but this is the work though. This is the work, the dark night of the soul for many. It's uh, it's quite universal that we experience it. Know that you're not alone, but this is, uh, you know, the dark night of the soul and how it manifests during the Kundalini process. So the term dark night of the soul came from uh, St. John of the cross. He was a Christian mystic. Um, and uh, he, he's got a, a text called the dark night of the soul where he documents his spiritual transformation process and the difficulty, the darkness, the, uh, the feeling of a being abandoned by God. Um, I tried to read it. It's a bit of a uh, fancy language. I couldn't really get through it. But for those that are interested in Christian mysticism and want to hear about the original you know, tale of the dark night of the soul, St. John of the Cross, you can check that out. Debbie sharing here, on round two of dark night of the soul after a beautiful, blissful six-month period after initial awakening. Yes, this is exactly what I mean. Some people have a brief moment of bliss and ecstasy. Some people it's a day, a two, a couple of weeks. Some people it's months. And when it lasts for months, it can actually be more difficult because over the course of six months, I'm sure you know you got quite used to being in a state of bliss. It feels like, oh, this is probably going to be around forever. And so then when it goes away, it's it's startling. It's quite startling. Yeah. Yeah, and Debbie goes on to share here, and this time, huge awareness on ego and heart consciousness. Fantastic, yes. We've got work to do. We've all got work to do. We've all got work to do, and this is the work, right? One day at a time, one day at a time.